Hey everyone, what's up? It is Amber Pro here, and uh, in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a randomized treasure chest. A uh, chest that, that can appear in a number of locations that you set, and um, give a random item of a certain amount that you set. So, uh, this is actually going to be not that long of a tutorial, but it's going to be longer than the others because I'm not going to edit anything. I'm just going to show you guys everything that I do. So, that being said, let's go ahead and uh, dive right on in. So, you want to make, uh, make a little event here. Make sure you're on the event layer. Uh, or press F6 on a keyboard, or click up here. Or you can also uh, do... What is it? Uh, see, I'm, I don't use this up here. You can also use um, mode and select the event. However you want to get to your events, just go to your events. Uh, double click um, somewhere. You want to make it a parallel process. Alright, so now we're going to give it a chest graphic. And uh, actually this part's not really important, but it just kind of helps you realize what your event is if you have a lot of different events on the screen. Uh, the icon here will definitely help you realize, uh, remember what it is. So, but this first event here isn't even going to get shown for the player. But again, for you, it's it's actually helpful uh, if you have a bunch of stuff like on your map and stuff. So we're going to use that. Um, unless you have a really good memory or you don't have a bad memory or something, then you probably don't need this. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to the control variables, and we're going to make a variable called chest. You can name it uh, right here if you wanted to. Um, we're going to set it random between 0 and 3. 3, okay, that's technically 4, because 0 counts as 1, I think. So, there's a total of 4 locations if you select 3. If you select 4, there's a total of 5 locations. There's always one higher than your maximum select. Uh, the, the last one, the highest number, will be where you started it. Or you can randomize it if you want to. But I'm going to have it where we, uh, where we started it. So we're going to click OK. And uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a conditional branch. We're going to check and see if the variable here is equal to, uh, if, if the chest variable is equal to zero. Uncheck the set handling when conditions do not apply. Click OK. And inside of the conditional branch, we're going to do a set event location. Oops. Yeah, we're not going to get on the treasure chest. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm riding on my treasure chest. Oh my gosh, that should be a song. That should seriously be a song. Alright, so we want to set the event location there. Um, it's going to be right here if the variable is equal to zero. We're going to copy that and paste it to three. Uh, we're going to paste it two more times so we have a total of three, which is the maximum number. Because again, um, the highest one is going to be your uh, the default location, unless you want to do it. So we're going to edit the second one we pasted. We're going to select uh, one. So if the variable is equal to one, it's going to be at this location. We're just going to move it here. Let's uh, move it here. That's really close, though, to the uh, half ankle heart. So yeah, if it's equal to one, it's going to be there. And uh, if it's equal to, we're going to edit the third one here. If it's equal to two, then it's going to. We're going to uh, edit the transfer event again. It's going to be over here. Yeah, that's a good place. Now we're going to copy the randomized variable thing. We're going to paste it again. So after it sets the location, it randomizes the variable again. It's not going to. It's not going to constantly transport nor or teleport. Uh, so the next thing you want to do is you want to turn uh, self switch A on. Make sure self switch A is on. We're going to make a new event page. Now this is going to be an action button, and uh, we're going to give it the chest. And we're going to get the same graphic here. We're going to check the box that says self switch, and we're going to select the box that says uh, variable. We're going to select chest, and we're going to say zero. So if the variable is equal to zero, um, it's going to. Uh, well, first we're going to copy this and paste it two more times. Uh, make sure you go back to the fir the first one here. So if it's equal to zero, we're uh, it's going to say you found a potion. Now you can have the chest open if you wanted to. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and do that actually. So to make it open, you just want to go to set move route, and we're going to do turn right. Make sure it's set on, uh, selected on the C band. We're going to wait for about two frames. Uh, we're going to turn right one more time, and I, I'm kind of stretched out here. Um, or turn left. I'm sorry. We're going to turn left. We're going to wait one frame or two frames. We're going to turn up. <laughs> turn up. Get it? It's a vegetable. And then uh, that's how you open the treasure chest. Uh, then we can. Then we're gonna do 
you found a potion. So yeah, if it's equal to zero, you're gonna get a potion out of it. Uh, let's see. Change items, potion, nose and cheese. And then we're gonna turn cell switch B on. And we're gonna go to tab four, we're just gonna make a new event page. Make sure that the cell switch B one, which is the one I have here, make absolutely sure that it's on the, it's on the very last tab. So this is tab five. Um, yeah, you just want to make sure it's all the way to the right. Let's see, chest. At least I think. It's better to be safe than sorry, that's for sure. So make sure it's all the way to the right, just in case. Um, otherwise, the other ones might get read before it, I think. So we're going to have it, the chest open graphic. We're going to say the chest was empty. Now, if you're running into an issue where the, uh, the, treasure, the treasure chest kind of, um, it looks like it moves whenever, depending on what angle you uh, face it at, you can just uh, check the direction fix box right here, and that will solve your issue. Uh, so, we're going to copy this right here. We're going to copy everything by pressing control, or holding down control, pressing A. Or you can right click and select all. So here, we're going to copy everything. We're going to go to the second one, increase the variable by one here. So if the chest variable is equal to one, we're going to paste uh, right there. And we're just going to change the text right here to say you found an ether, even though we don't have an ether. You found an a ether. Yeah, a English. Ah, it don't matter. It's just a tutorial. Um, and we're going to change some random item. Let's pretend magic water is ether. Oh, that was good timing. I didn't even mean to click that either, and it does the same effect as ether, I think. Sweet. So that's all you need to do. Um, we're going to go here to the final tab, and we're going to select two, and we're going to uh, do the same thing, except for a potion. We're going to say 50G. Like, you know, 50 gold. You found 50 gold. Uh, you know what? This is probably more proper. Slash G. Because that'll, that'll replace the... Um, if you do a backslash G, it'll replace the letter with whatever uh, whatever you have set as your currency unit. Um, I'm just going to change items here. Do change gold. 50. Now, I did forget one more thing. I forgot that uh, we have a we have the default one right here. Uh, I'm going to make this one... Hmm. I don't know. You found a sword. You found some other item. But you guys basically get how this works uh, by now. And if you don't, just let me know in the comments and I'll try and uh, clarify things a little bit if I can. Or maybe um, somebody else can. If, uh, if, if I don't get to it in time. Born. I don't know, let's just randomize this here. So yeah, uh, let's go over things. Let's go over what we did. First, we randomize the variables and we have conditional branches to check uh, which variable is equal to what. And it's going to set it at a random of four locations. There's only three here because the default you know, would be the third one, or technically fourth. Um, so it would be here still. Then we randomize the variables one more time and control the cell switch A. Then we have four events here that are quite similar uh, with just increasing the uh, variable here. So this one's zero. So if, if the variable randomized is equal to zero, it's going to give you a potion. If it's equal to one, it's going to give you an ether. Uh, if it's equal to two, it's going to give you 50 gold. And if it's equal to three, it's going to give you a sword. And it turns, all of them turn cell switch B on, which pretty much says that the chest is open. When all is said and done, this should work. This is going to be loud. I apologize. There's nothing I can really do about that. So here we go. Prepare loudness. I think my ears are bleeding now. All right. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we found 50G. Let's restart. Eh. It's over here now. Yeah, we found a potion. Let's restart. Okay, it's uh, here. Ooh, we found another potion. See, even though it's in the same location, it can be a different item at the same time, which is pretty cool. Yeah, you found 50G. Even though it seems to kind of love sticking around there. Ooh, there it is. It said the default. Found 50G. It's always going to be random with whatever you set. Here we go. You found 50G. It does seem to uh, love to stick to the 50G, though. Alright, but anyways, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. Um, yeah, I hope, um, hope it helps with people's game development and stuff. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later.